But first tonight, massive protests have been witnessed in downtown Srinagar after India Beta. Masarat Alam was arrested this morning by the Jammu and Kashmir police. Then after Friday press, Hurriyat chief Mirwais Omar Farooq led a protest rally against an alleged fake encounter in the valley which has turned violent. The protesters clashed with the security forces, indulged in stone pelting. 24 people including 21 policemen were injured in the clashes. Across the border, Lashkar chief and 2611 mastermind Hafiz Saeed backed Masarat yet again, condemned his arrest. Let's tonight talk about these pictures that are now coming on your screen. Do they mark the revival of separatism in the Kashmir Valley? Shuja ul Haq has tonight's top story. Srinagar on the boil. Violent protests breaking out in downtown Srinagar after Hurriyat hardliner Masarat Alam was arrested for organizing anti India rally on Wednesday. The protesters led by Hurriyat leader Mirwai Zumar Farooq clashed with the security forces and indulged in stone pelting. In Delhi, a cornered Modi government talked tough and vowed to crack down on the traitors. <laughs> Meanwhile, across the border, 2611 mastermind Hafiz Saeed yet again backed Masarat Alam and condemned his arrest. Musarrat Alam, tu baghi nahi hai. Tere upar baghavat ka mukaddama, pure Pakistan ke awam par ham mukaddama samajte hai. Srinagar today saw violent protest after Masarrat Alam's arrest and now a band call has been given by Hurriyat Hawk Saeed Ali Shah Gilani. Clearly had Mufti government disallowed Masarrat Alam to organize anti-India rally on Wednesday, the situation wouldn't have snowballed into a major law and order problem. It's time that Mufti government stops playing with fire. With Shuja ul Haq in Srinagar, Bureau Report, Headlines Today. Let's first answer the question that many of you would like to know anywhere in this country. Who is Masarat Alam? Let's tell you a bit about him. Has he been made into a hero, an alumnus of Kashmir's missionary school, Tyndale Bisco? That's where he started. 1990, first went to jail at the age of 19, was a member of the Hizbul Mujahideen at that time. Then, of course, he moved from there between 1990 and 2005, served nine detention orders. He's been arrested several occasions. Comes into political prominence in 2008 for organizing protests against the Amarnath land deal. 2010, during the alleged stone pelting agitation, he becomes a suddenly a face, a formidable face, is arrested at the time after the massive stone pelting killed over 120 people that year. 2015, he is released from prison after four years on March 7. Now, just over a month later, he is back in jail. So this is the story of how Masarat has evolved. The question, of course, that we should raise is, has Masarat become the new hero of the separatists? Or is this a revival of the sentiment? It's not about an individual, but it's about separatist sentiment that's being revived. That's the question I want to pose. Joining me now, Mirwais Omar Farooq of the Hurriyat Conference. He joins me. Also joining me, Siddiq Wahid, easily one of the most respected voices. Dr. Siddiq Wahid, academician and expert on Kashmir. Ravinder Rana, MLA of the BJP, joins me from Jammu. So I appreciate all of you joining us. But I want to, I want to come to you first, Mirwais. In a moment, before that, to you, uh, Siddiq White, you've seen those images uh, uh, that, that have played out today. Your, your sense of them, is this separatist sentiment back or has it been simply that the likes of Masarat Alam are looking for the oxygen of publicity which has been provided to them ironically by the television camera? Mm. I don't think it's the latter at all. I mm. think that it is the separatist sentiment coming back. Mm. I think it's strong. Um, and you have to allow the space. 
I mean, I think that this government uh, talked about giving them space. This government talked about giving the dissent space, and I think it needs to be given. But, you know, the, mm. the, the, the fact is that if you saw what happened during the elections, during the election there was a high voter turnout. Mm -hmm. It was clear during those elections that there was a sense that, uh, uh, that the separatists had been unable to enforce their boycott call. And yet, barely four months later, we suddenly find them back on the streets. Is this now a calculated ploy by a group of separatists who otherwise fear that they could become irrelevant to the entire political process? Let's, let's be very clear. The turnout, the high turnout during the uh, elections was in part as a protest against uh, or uh, in against uh, trying to or, or it was a protest or attempt to try and keep the BJP out. Mm -hmm. um, they couldn't keep it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, through, because the government was formed with them, and which is why you have the uh, current uh, situation prevailing, I think. Okay, I'm going to ask my producer to just <clears throat> play some of those, you know, the, the graphics to try and explain how this has evolved. But Ravinder Rena, you are the MLA of the BJP. I want to know what are the signals this government is sending. One month ago, you released Masarat Alam. Today, you have re-arrested him. Confusing signals. I want to know whether, what is your government strategy? Do you want to reach out to the Huriyat? Do you want to provide this so-called healing touch in the valley or are you going to have zero tolerance towards the likes of Masarat Alam? Uh, thank you, Rajdeep, sir. Uh, as far as the Bharatiya Janata Party is concerned, we are very much clear. The way the movement Mr. Masarat Alam was released from the jail, Can the Bharatiya Janata Party raised a series of objections and uh, on your uh, news channel on headlines today, on that particular day, I, with Rahul Kamal, I raised series of concern about this man and the, the brief history that you given today about Masrat Alam. On that particular day, I elaborated the credentials of Masrat Alam. Masrat Alam is a terrorist. He went to Pakistan. He picked up the gun. He is responsible for so many attacks on Indian military camps in Kashmir, on civilian camps. These people of Hurriyat Conference are the paid agents of Pakistani ISI inter-services intelligence agencies. Can I Their take that charge? Can I, can I, just a minute. Can I take that charge to Mirwais Omar Farooq yes. who joins us? Mirwais Omar Farooq, the charge which will be made is that you are desperately trying to revive the separatist sentiment. That's the charge that the BJP is making, that you are agents of Pakistan. All this is being done because Pakistan wants you to retain your relevance and create trouble right. in the valley. Absolutely right. Rajiv, before I answer your question, just give me a minute. Yes. It's very unfortunate that, you know, I was listening to the story uh, which, which was, you just ran uh, mm -hmm. before the discussion started. And there was absolutely no mention of the fact that why there were protests today. Mm -hmm. The fact remains that today's protests were because a young 22-year-old boy, you know, Khalid Muzaffar, a graduate of her done masters in, in, in science stream, was picked up by the army, he was killed in cold blood, he was, he was, he was killed under custody, his uh, <coughs> dead body was thrown in the jungle and he was labelled as a militant. So you, it's very ironical and very sad that you know, uh, that, that uh, you don't even mention the fact that when people were protesting today mm -hmm. against the fact that we were asking for the removal of AFSPA, we were asking for the guilty to be punished, we were asking for even at least an FIR to be lodged, you know, uh, uh, because for the last three days, whole of South Can Kashmir I? is 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 under protest. Hold on, are you saying? Are you so saying? That for, are you saying? Are you saying? And I should run those protest pictures rather than focus on Masarat for a moment. Because are you saying to me that your protests are only about the Tral encounter? They have nothing to do with Masarat Alam. You don't care what happens to Masarat. The arrest of Masarat Alam was not the trigger for your protest. It was purely about what you claim is a fake encounter. What I am saying is you have to understand that why, why are people agitating, you know, why are people up on, in the streets, it's mm -hmm. because unfortunately uh, there is absolutely no realization about the Kashmir problem. I mean, you were right, right now you were saying that 70% people have voted in Kashmir, mm -hmm. you know, and India has been bragging about it for the last six months. Mm -hmm. So why are you so jittery? If, if, if some Pakistani flags are unfurled in Kashmir and Raji, no Pakistan the slogans are raised, I mean, why are you so weak? I don't think anyone is jittery. I don't think anyone is jittery. There's a law no, of the land. Mr. No, Mr. Raji, no, just a minute, just a minute, because, Mr. Rana. There's a law of the land. There's a law of the land, Mirwais. You don't, see, you... There you rightly said, land. you rightly said, and let me finish. Mm -hmm. You rightly said, you rightly said that the sentiment is much bigger than a person. 
or a personality. So my request would be that kindly, you know, accept the sentiment. The problem in New Delhi is when you have a 2010 situation, you come running in and say that, you know, you promise the moon to the Kashmiris, you say, you know, let us talk. And the moment you feel that you have the authority and the numbers, to crush the people of Kashmir, you go back on your commitments, you, you start again, there is a the discourse changes suddenly, and, and, then, and am, then you say you go back to the Raja Mr. Raji, of, uh, Mr. Raji, of you know, what you call a two just, I just Mr. want to Raji, get, before I bring Mr. Mr. Rena, Mr. Rena, one minute. I just no, want to I mean, get, I mean, no, Mirwez, no, Mirwez, Mirwez, let, let me, no, 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 I have let to me, intervene. No, no, I have Mr. Raji, please give me a time. Listen to me, Mr. Raji, please give me a time. Please listen to me. Okay, Mirwais, I'll come back to you. Point, the point, the point the is, no, 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 no. The point no. is, you know, put, put the whole Listen, problem in the context. This is total false. The context is, the context is, Kashmir is the problem from 1947. It is divided. Kashmir is divided. not the people problem. Divided. Problem you is have, Pakistan. You, you, problem you have, is terrorism. You have people problem is who you can say. Listen, Mr. Mirwai. Your family is divided. Hold on your tongue, Mr. Mirwai. So no, no, one minute. I am asking my friend, you sir. It will be one by one. It will be one by one. Please, please, please. Uh, Mr. Mr. Rena, Mr. Rena, I will let you speak. If there is any dispute, dispute is of the area which is in the illegal possession of Pakistan. Mr. Jammu and Kashmir is the integral part of India. There is no dispute. Okay. And if there is any dispute, then why? Dispute why did you have Shimla agreement? Why did you have Nashkar agreement? Why did you have Nashkar agreement? Hold on your tongue. Shinagar, Islamabad, Jammu and Kashmir is to is and shall be the integral part of India. Just a minute. No, just a minute. On the news today, just a minute. On the news today, I, I am I am keeping your mics on silent till till I get some kind of order to have one by one. I understand that this is an emotive issue. I want to hear both of you. This country deserves to hear the what Mirwais Omar Farooq says and what Mr. Rena says. We are a large enough democracy to listen to both sides, and I am more than prepared on this program to listen to both sides without labeling any of you in the manner that often happens on television channels. I won't do that. But I want to bring in Siddiq Wai, and I'm going to come back to both of you for a moment. Siddiq, you've seen what happens. This is classically what is happening at the moment. And it seems these are the conflicting pulls and pressures. There's a constituency in Jammu, which wants zero tolerance against the likes of whether it's a Masarat Alam or even a Mirwais Omar Farooq. And there's a constituency in the valley, which believes that this separatist sentiment must at least be responded to more creatively. What does poor Mufti Muhammad Said do? I'm using the word poor because I almost see he's a bechara now. He's being pulled in different directions. Well, I mean, I think that that was very predictable. And I think that it speaks again to the fact that Delhi seems to be in denial about addressing a very fundamental problem in Jammu and Kashmir. And that is the status of the state, mm -hmm. the political status of the state. And I think that until that is addressed in all honesty, mm -hmm. to hope that that is going to go away, I think is foolish. And so therefore, so what, what, you, what, what you're no, hearing... So what should happen? Should, are you saying that New Delhi has to start <laughs> again a round table with the Hurriyat? Do you believe that's the way forward? I think that... The, are they the only spokespersons? I, I think New Delhi has to start a round table with the Hurriyat, with Pakistan, and within India itself as to what is what is the way but nothing's been achieved and it's been going you know we had similar round tables in the, been, about a decade I ago know, but that's not that, to not have achieved something is not a failure of the situation i think it's the failure of whoever the government uh, uh, okay. governing body is okay so you're saying it's a failure you know mr rena i want to know from you you are a government which has come into power a month ago. What is your uh, strategy towards the likes of Mirwais Omar Farooq? You are shouting here on this program. The fact is that in their agenda, your partners who are a member, uh, who are leading the government, PDP said very clearly that among their strategies was to reach out to the separatists. So I want to know, do you want to reach out to Mirwais Omar Farooq or do you see Mirwais Farooq as a traitor and a Pakistani agent? Let's be very clear. We. Uh, Mr. Rajdeep Sardesai, sir, yes. we will reach out all those people, but under the ambit of Indian constitution, the people like that of Masrat Alam and the way Mr. Mirwais Umar Farooq had said, I think there is a no space for such peoples, no space for Pakistanis, no space for agents of Pakistan. When these people used to say that Jammu and Kashmir is a disputed territory, 
so, not at all. So as far as Jammu you are concerned, as far as you are concerned, of India. Let me complete. Sir, sir just a minute. No, no, let me Jammu complete. And Kashmir is an integral part of India, and we won't allow, we won't permit anybody to raise Pakistani slogans in Jammu and Kashmir. There is no dispute in Jammu and Kashmir, and if there is a dispute, there is a dispute of the territory which is in the illegal possession of Pakistan. We Mr. call Rana, it EOJK, Mr. And Rana, area which is in the Mr. Rana, but your of China. Mr. Rana, your uh, your ally and the leader of the government, the PDP, has a different view of it. Please reconcile your view with what the PDP says in its manifesto. No, Rajdeep, no, no, no. Rajdeep, no, what is their view? About the ally. I'll come to you, Mirwais, in a moment. Point of view. Yes. The, from the BJP's point of view, yes. we are categorically, we are very much clear, crystal clear, no compromise with the nationalism, nation first, mm -hmm. others second. I know, okay. Mirwais Omar Farooq, then I want to know, given what, what you've just heard, the BJP is now in power in Jammu and Kashmir. You are claiming that as far as you are concerned, it is a dispute. As far as you are concerned, you believe in the separatist sentiment. I want to know how are you going to then deal with this new reality of Jammu and Kashmir. The fact is the people of Jammu are divided from the people of the valley and they have an equal right to have their voices heard. So just as you have a separatist sentiment, they believe in the sentiment of a unified Jammu and Kashmir as an integral part of this country. Are you willing to have a dialogue given these extreme positions? What is the, how will you reconcile your position with that of Mr. Rena? See, Rajiv, our position is very clear. I mean, the fact remains that Jammu and Kashmir is not only Jammu or Kashmir or Valley for that matter. There is Ladakh, there is the other side of Kashmir, which is in Pakistan, there is Muzaffarabad, there is uh, what, what do you call the northern areas. Horiath has a very clear position on that, that the time has come that India and Pakistan have to facilitate a process of engagement among all the regions of Jammu and Kashmir. And I, I tell you with all honesty, you know, that... Uh, I don't think just by screaming you can deny realities. I mean, no, no, it's not I, only about. I agree with you that screaming is not a solution. Mi Mufti Sayyid. Mi Mirwais, no, Mirwais, Mirwais, no, Mirwais, no, I agree you are, with you. You are saying that BJ. Mirwais, I agree that, that screaming is no, not let, a solution, but neither is a solution holding a rally, anti India slogans, and Pakistani flags an act of provocation. Why are you resorting to this provocative right. act? No, it almost seems as yeah, if you no, are keen no, to be arrested. You have to. You have, to under, you, you have to understand the fact that the people of Kashmir are not getting any chance to portray their aspirations. I mean, every time, you know, we call for a rally, we are being arrested. There is no concept of, you know, peaceful citizens in Jammu and Kashmir. If the someone raised Pakistan, please don't interfere. You know, you Mr. Rana, let him speak. Give us that space. Give us that space. No, let, let me let me let me conclude. Yes. And you know the as as Mr. Rana was saying that you know the BJP is not going to tolerate it. Let me remind him. It was his leader, Mr. Vajpayee, Mr. Advani, who engaged with us, who talked to us at that time. Were we not traitors and separatists? But they, not they under facilitated the, our but not Pakistan. under the Pakistani flag. We went to Pakistan. The, 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 government, the government of India gave us a passport to visit and meet the Pakistani President Musharraf Indian and his passport. team at that time. That was the so Indian you passport. Have to understand, that was you the have Indian to, passport. You have to understand the fact, you have to understand the fact that the problem is, you, know, you have to, you have, you can't ignore the historical context. You can't ignore the fact that the, uh, you know, the, the dispute on Jammu and Kashmir is very much there. Elections are, you know, don't confuse. My humble request is that you don't dispute, con confuse calling. elections with with no with, uh, with, no, no, with, with, with self-determination. Just, you just know, what elections? You had elections, seventy percent turnout. You know, you had elections, seventy percent turnout. But and you there have white there's a difference calls. between elections and no referendum. I had not had cross What you had in Kashmir was the election. What you had in Scotland was a referendum. Okay, just. Just a minute. Why not hold a referendum? Priya, Priya, uh, my producer Priya has been told very clearly if there is any crosstalk, mics will be switched off. So let's not. It, let's have a healthy debate. We are a democracy. Let's have a healthy debate. I want on this channel to encourage all sides to be represented, whether it's Mirwais or Rena. No, no side will not be given a chance to be heard. But I just, in that principle, uh, uh, Dr. Waid, of the right to be heard, these are extreme positions. Why, uh, Mirwais Omar Farooq is making it clear there is a historical context as far as he's concerned it's a disputed area 
You've got Mr. Rena making it very clear it has to be in the ambit of the Indian constitution. Now you've got a situation where the Masarat Alam has been made a hero. Then you've got Hafiz Saeed across the border who has a gun in hand. I want to know, given the complexity of it all, are we back to the zero? Are, are we back to square one? Is there well, no progress as a I result think, of an elected mm, government being formed which promised a healing touch? I think what's important is that we need to be consistent. Mr. Raina was just now wagging his fingers mm -hmm. at, at uh, the Mirwais and, and at Kashmir at large yes. by saying that, you know, we don't consider it disputed at all. But then in the next breath says that we claim the other side, which, uh, or which is on Pakistan, the LOC mm -hmm. West, we claim it as that, which makes it a dispute. And so, you know, you're talking contradictorily. It is very confusing. So, uh, so I, given this mm -hmm. confusion, do you believe the government erred in first releasing Masarat and now arresting him again, he's suddenly become a bit of a hero for from the separatists. I don't think is there is there confusing signals being sent out? I don't think that the government erred in releasing him because it was under the Supreme Court orders mm -hmm. that they released him. I, as far as uh, his being arrested again, is again, it's the rule of law that prevails. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm so not you're concerned. saying you're saying the government mm. is acting according to the rule of law, both in releasing him and now in rearresting well, him. Possibly in rearresting him. I don't know. Okay, because I tried to find I'm, out today. I'm, okay. I'm trying to get though to understand: Are we returning back to the bad old days, Mirwais Omar Farooq, of that we saw in 2010, the days of stone pelting, the days of trying to get hit the road again? Is this what you want in Jammu and Kashmir? This is a summer which has a lot of potential. You've had a terrible flood only six months ago. We need healing in Jammu and Kashmir. We need people to first have proper houses after which were destroyed during the floods. Why do you want to hit the streets, raise anti-India slogans, provoke people? Is that what you really want in this summer? Don't you want tourists to come? Are these the images you want to show, Mirwais? Rajiv, let me be very honest and frank with you. You know, the fact remains that nobody wants to see mm. death and destruction. We have been the, we have been the worst sufferers mm. of, of, of uh, you know, human rights violations and killing. Nobody wants to that. But the fact that you, you mentioned 2010. Isn't it a fact that in 2010, when the agitation started, you know, uh, we, at that juncture, Indian leadership came, parliamentarians came. They said, you know, it's time to go off the streets. You please mm. convince people to, mm. to go off the streets. We will start engagement. We will talk to the Huriyat. Right. What happened to that? What happened to those commitments that we will engage the people of Kashmir? We will, we will talk to the people of Kashmir. I mean, the, unfortunately, you, are know, you, you going have to, to understand the, the fact that... Are we going to see the bad old problem. days of stone pelting? Am I going to see the bad old days of stone pelting this summer? No, no, nobody wants stone pelting. You know, we know, see, I think, Rajiv, we have to understand the fact that Kashmiris are, 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 are a cornered lot. I mean, the fact that we have 500,000 troops in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, the highest in the world. Mm -hmm. Why because do we have to do a debate on that? There are why, no, no. Pakistanis are there. No. Why, why, don't, you, why? why, why, why don't you ever... Don't ever, ever okay, why? Let's, let's, let, let's leave it. I am not going to allow now one... I am going to give you, Mr. Rena, one final word. Mr. Rena, my final word to you is this. You, your government came speaking of the healing touch. Healing touch involves everyone. It involves the people of Jammu, it involves the people of Ladakh, and it involves the people of Kashmir. And if they have views different to yours, are you still willing to talk to them or not? Or are you only going to shout at them? No, no, Mr. Raji, we are very much clear that the way Mr. Mirwais has uh, elaborated his story. He said there are troops in Jammu and Kashmir. Troops are placed in Jammu and Kashmir because there is Pakistani sponsored terrorism across the border. What the enemy did, what happened in Kargil and what happened, what is going on day to day in Kashmir Valley. Police stations are being attacked by the Pakistani uh, terrorists. Okay. Now, when the new government has formed, we are trying our level best to, to, to create an atmosphere of development, peace and prosperity. But again, the, the agents of Pakistan, these Huriyat Wallas, are... I'm going to leave it. You, you've said, you've Wallas. used that word. You've used the word agents of Pakistan. So it's clear that you believe that Mirwais Omar Farooq is an agent of Pakistan. Mirwais, are you an agent of Pakistan? Yeah, absolutely. 
How, how do you are the agents of Pakistan? Okay. Yeah, agent I, it's of Pakistan. very unfortunate. See, Rajdeep, Rajdeep, you know, just by shouting and labeling people, the right. realities will not go away. We will. The reality is that Kashmir issue is unresolved. It has to be addressed. India, Kashmir Pakistan, and the undivided resolved. people of Jammu and Kashmir are the parties to the conflict. Of and India. today or tomorrow, you have to address it. You have to address okay. the Okay. Okay. I think you made your point clear. You cannot. I think you made your points approved. clear, gentlemen. You cannot Continue Gentlemen, you made your points clear. Approach. It's clear that the anger remains, the d divisions remain, the extreme positions remain. Reconciling them is the big challenge. Dr. Wahid, Mirwe Omar Farooq, Mr. Rena, I appreciate your joining us here on really what is a fractious debate. My take, India's history of dealing with the Kashmir issue is littered with self-goals. By arresting Masarat Alam, Masarat Alam, barely a month after releasing him, the JNK government has sent mixed signals. The alleged fake encounter in Tral has only sparked up more tension. It's time we realize Kashmir needs to be handled with patience and sensitivity. Television images should not dictate our Kashmir policy.